copper peptides and hair growth. So I previously reviewed the research of copper peptides regrowing hair, and I'll pin that video below in the comments so you can see the results of those studies for yourself. But I wanted to circle back and talk about this again because of a comment that someone left in that video. In that comment, it stated that there are two human clinical trials published in 2016 and 2022 that show that topically applied copper peptides do indeed regrow hair. So I went down the rabbit hole to see if I missed anything and if there's any new research out there, and this is what I discovered. So I have several studies of copper peptides and hair growth on my computer already. And when I checked out, I did find this study was came out in 2016 and is titled Topical Peptide Treatments with Effective Anti-Aging Results. So this is a review article, but there is a section in this paper where they do indeed discuss copper peptides. So they state that copper peptides can stimulate hair growth. And as proof of that, they're providing these three references, 36, 37, and 38, which I've highlighted. Let's begin with reference 36. This appears to be a paper that was presented at the 60th annual meeting of the American American Academy of Dermatology in 2002. Notice that it's only one page long, so it doesn't appear to be a clinical trial. And either way, I can't locate it. Next up is reference 37. This is a review article of copper peptides for skin regeneration. And while yes, they do state in the abstract that I'm showing you that copper peptides have an effect on hair follicles, that's the only place in this review where that is mentioned. There's no proof to back up that statement and nowhere in this paper are there any before and after pictures of copper peptides growing hair. Turning our attention to reference 38, this is a clinical trial that was published in 2014. Basically, they were trying to see if copper peptides could promote blood vessel growth in cells that were taken from bone marrow. There's no before and after pictures of hair growth and nowhere in the paper do the words hair and follicles appear. I also want to call your attention to this other paper that came out in 2016 as well. Now this is a human clinical trial where copper peptides were combined with another compound and that cocktail was then sprayed on people's scalps daily for six months. Now the good news is they report that the combination of these two compounds did indeed increase the number of hairs on the scalp after six months. Problems with this study? It's not an actual clinical trial of how well copper peptides by themselves regrow hair. And even though they say this cocktail increased the number of hairs on people's heads, they don't provide any before and after pictures so we can judge for ourselves how well this combination worked. There's also this paper which came out in 2022 where copper peptide nanoparticles promoted remarkable promotion of hair growth, but this is in mice. I also checked PubMed.gov, the National Library of Medicine, to see if copper peptides had any studies on humans other than what I had previously presented, and this is what I found. There are some papers that have indeed been published on copper peptides, but when I click the box for clinical trials, Miles nothing showed up. I know copper peptides are very popular and I'm more than willing to read and analyze the research for you. So if anyone has seen human clinical trials on copper peptides and hair growth, post the titles of those videos in the comments below. I will get those studies, I will read those studies, and I will report back to you what I find.